And today I got a tutorial on Bloodborne how to get to the very first boss and it's actually very very simple if you guys do follow my steps And if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys do like this uh, video and share it with your friends So the first thing what you guys want to do is spawn well if you're new and you just started um, You know you run down here and you go down the stairs and uh, there'll be a lamp What you want to do at least every lamp that you see you want to turn on always so after that what you guys want to do is run um there might be a dog for you if you if you already started you already killed this dog there might be a dog right here so you are gonna have to defeat him so my my issue is if you guys want to play with friends and help out defeat the beast what you guys want to do is just just run through do not even think about trying to even you know fighting them or anything if you're new to bloodborne like i am i'm i'm not a really big fighter i like playing with my friends so i can have some help sometimes and stuff but what you guys want to do is on your left, you'll see this door open. Well, I already have it open. So what you guys want to do is open that door. And after you're done opening that door, there'll be a uh, well, a dude right here. And as you guys can tell, God, that's loud. <laughs> so as you guys can tell on my left, uh, you see some ladders. You want to do that. So right now, we're actually going to, at least you're going to have to defeat this boss. Well, there'll be a dude right here. He's not a boss. I don't know why I said boss. I'm too apologize for that. But he is just like an enemy. Um, he tries to kill you. Be careful because, you know, he's uh, pretty challenging with a fire and crap he kind of gets real annoying but would you guys after you guys defeat him there will be a lever you know right here um pull down the lever and go up these stairs so right now we're gonna hit up these stairs real quick you guys are gonna see a lot of doors open that's because i played the game and i have shortcuts open so i don't have to run all the way around the map but the first boss um you know it's really really close it's... where's the bridge at can i see the bridge from here without dying is that the bridge? No. Or maybe I can't see the bridge. But yeah, what you guys want to do is after you turn on this lamp, run down here. Like I said, do not kill a single enemy. Just kind of dodge them. It's really easy, actually. All you got to do is just hold circle and run like crazy. So what you guys want to do, there will be a dude right there. Don't really worry about him. Hop down here. Jump down. By the way, you won't take fall damage, so don't worry about that. What you guys want to do is just run down these stairs. Try to dodge all these characters, dude, because you just don't want to die on this. Uh, and then you run up these stairs real quick. You kind of, you will run out of stamina, so you are going to have to kind of do a little dodge and maneuvers and stuff. It's uh, it's not really intense. It's just like, it's kind of difficult. So what you guys want to do after you here, run down these stairs. Watch out for the ogre on uh, your right. There's the ogre right there. Uh, then you, what you guys want to do is run up these stairs, run up the other stairs, and then you also see dogs. Watch out for these dogs. These dogs get super duper annoying. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. All right, let's try to let's try to dodge. Let's try to dodge all these guys here real quick. It's here real quick. Like I said, it's not really that difficult. All you gotta do is just kind of run around. But what you guys wanna do after this, you guys will see huge dogs run past them. You don't even really wanna even try them because, you know, they get real annoying when they do. There'll be an ogre right here, actually, so just pass him. And then this, um, this door will be, watch out for the crows, by the way, because those crows do get real annoying. So when you guys are after in this location, you guys will um, eventually see a boss drop, but I already defeated the boss. Please tell me they're not following me. Alright, good. They're not following me. But you also see a boss drop down, and you would have to defeat him. But, you know, don't even worry about defeating him, because, I, to be honest, you will, if you're new to Bloodborne, you probably won't even be able to defeat him. So, um, yeah, after you die, it will take you back to the Hunter's Dream. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do drop that like, comment, subscribe, if you guys enjoyed. And I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you guys do want any more tutorials on how to get to any other bosses, I can help you guys out real quick. Shortcuts, you know, all that good, good stuff for these, uh, you know, these kind of games so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time next video